and this does not look good. Emma Raducanu injured once again. This video is brought to you via the Doctrine of Fair Use, the Fair Dealing, and we're also covered under the Digital Millennium Act. I'm your host, Good Energy. You know who I am by now, and that's Dasha, the number one seed. But listen, guys, I made a comment several years ago. I said, I don't think Emma Raducanu will ever beat Dasha. That's right. Why? Because Dasha's got superior footwork. She's a better shot maker between the lines, better defensive player, better physically, mentally, better top spin, you name it. However, it seems like every time these two ladies play, Emma Raducanu is the favorite and Dash is the underdog. But I made the statement a few years ago. And listen, guys, despite that, Emma's playing well, right? She's on a two-match win streak. She took out Peyton Stearns, NCAA champion. Yu Yan, who got her first main tour title this year at the ATX Open. But let's let's just be honest. It seems like Emma's getting the red carpet treatment lately, the VIP treatment. She's not having to qualify in these tournaments where she should be qualifying, right? It seems like, I don't know. We know Emma's big time. We know that. We know she's one of the biggest draws in female tennis along with Coco. We understand that, but are we doing her a disservice by giving her entries into these tournaments that she should have to qualify for? Are we doing Emma a disservice? Why? Because in case you missed this match, guys, she would have to retire. That's right. After the first set and she had flashes of greatness. We all know she has an amazing backhand. But Dasha was just too much in between the lines. Now, Emma had the opportunity to break Dasha on her very first service game. She could have been a, she could she she could have went up one love, held and been up two love. She also had the opportunity to break again on Dasha's second service game. But when it comes down to it, Dasha's her footwork is superior. She's got the mental toughness, and Emma Raducanu just broke down again. Her body continues to fail her. And this is starting to become just sad to watch, right? Just having her retire. And look at these two fans here. Look at that image. Can you see there? That's right. 2021 U.S. Open champion. That's the image there of Emma with the trophy. And Emma said it best. No matter what the critics write or say about me, they can never take away my U.S. Open title. And that is true. But Emma's going to have to do something. This Asian leg of the tour is very important for her. She made it to the quarterfinals here, and that's as far as she goes. As Dasha takes the first set 6-1, she dishes out a bagel, and this I do not like, okay? As a competitor, as someone that has coached many players, smiling after you had to retire, smiling? Dasha's not smiling. This is not a joke. This is your career. This, I don't know, guys. Comment below, what are your thoughts about this? After shaking hands, smiling that she's injured. I don't know about this. Emma takes a loser's walk. She's not a loser. She's big time. She's an amazing talent. But we all know after winning that U.S. Open title in 21, the big adjustment going into the 22 season was handling the grueling schedule. Now, Iga just pulled out. She's not going to defend her Chinese Open title. We'll talk about that in the next video. Dasha... Look, classy woman here. She wished Emma Raducanu a speedy recovery. And she said, look, she's looking forward to the extra time off. That's right. Having only having only played one set today, she'll have, look, I guess an extra hour or so to recover. But the reality here is classy woman there. She's looking forward to this part of the tour. And how did she do it? Four aces. She served pretty darn good, even though she gave him back in double faults. Emma had three double faults, zero aces of her own. But listen, guys, 11 winners. She got the job done, forcing Emma into twice as many unforced errors. And it really came down to this. Dash is a long rally player. She's a defensive player. She's good between the lines. She's a great shot maker. Emma just can't hang with the shot-making ability, the variety that Dash is going to throw. Dash is going to throw the kitchen sink at you, mix in with her athletic ability, her footwork, her mental toughness, her stamina. Too much for Emma Raducanu. Now, little sister Kunimoto was out. We're going to see if big sister Veronica can get revenge over Beatrice's dad. And as far as Dasha, she will take on the winner of the showdown.
we have Dana Snader taking on Marta Kostyuk. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back. Now, the race to the finals, guys. I said, I don't know if Queen Wynn can hold on, but she's right there. And I think the question now is, can Danny Mel hold on? Coco's number six. I think she'll be fine. She'll have a deep run at the Chinese Open. She'll probably either build on that six-spot lead or possibly take out Pagula. We'll see what happens there. Polini, Pagula, they're kind of fighting for that four-fifth spot while Polini's on the hills of her back. And we're going to see if she even laces them up. Ten in a minute, get your popcorn, like the video, show some love. We'll be right back. What's up with Emma? Come on, guys. Comment below. Smiling? At, come on. I don't like that. 